Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Viveros and here we are within the penthouse suite of Bedford Center. This home has been provided to us by Bedford Brokerage and Marcel Thomas. Now this home has got so many standout features. Don't forget to tune into the full episode so you can see every single one of them. But let's just talk about what you're seeing on my left hand side right now. And that is that this home is a penthouse suite of Bedford Center, which means you have easy access to the whole of Bedford Center. If you need to do shopping, there's a Woolworths. If you need to go out and have some fun with your friends, there's a Salsa. There's so much to do here. There are so many standout features in the home itself, as well as in the shopping center. And that leaves only one more thing for me to say, and that is welcome home. your front door here you are within could be called nothing other than an entrance hall and entrance halls on apartments are very rare specifically when it comes to entrance halls that have got such incredibly high ceilings very very clever how they've used these stairs to double the length of the ceiling this entry hall on my side beautiful chandelier geometric shapes and then a place for all your guests to maybe get welcome drinks to use as a place to hang up their jackets but a really nice area We've got these old school windowed bricks letting in a lot of light but diffusing and giving you a lot of privacy because outside this door is your full entry hall to Bedford Center. You'd walk down it past all the other penthouse, all the fancy people and then you'll come to the lifts that take you down to Bedford Center itself. I cannot express how ultra cool it is living above a shopping center. Can you imagine guys, you need shopping, no problem, popping downstairs. If you wanna go out and party with the friends, you can roll yourself upstairs, no matter how tipsy you might be, and you're at home, you're in the comfort of your own home, no driving, nothing like that, so I really like it. Now, up these stairs, we find ourselves in the living quarters. We've got your lounge area right here, and let's talk about it, because it is ultra cool, obviously fed by the aircon plenty of down lighting, lots of space. We've got this U-shaped couch that fits in here, absolutely no problem. Built-in wall unit. See, you've got a really nice 55-inch TV here. I like how it's been done. This area rug fills it out, makes it homely, really does make it nice. And then we've got some decorations on the wall. Nice thing about this wall is we've got a skylight. Skylights are a feature throughout the house. So many skylights and you'll see the skylight embedded right in there, letting in down lighting. But the killer feature about this home is this right here. Look at this, indoor, outdoor living. We talk about it so often. Everybody mentions seamless. This is seamless, that is seamless. This right here is seamless outdoor living. We've got wood decking spreading out onto a pool with one of the most incredible views of Bedford View right down there. We're going to talk more about the pool and we're going to show you more about it, but let's just touch on how we've got an outdoor area right here. We've got this beautiful built-in floating countertop over here and that countertop leads into a gas bribe which is just underneath the stainless steel piece here. Windows that are mirrored so it's not going to let in too much of that UV light. We've got some slats above you, but what if it was winter? What if it was cold? No problem. These folding stackable doors, you'd pull these all across here. Maybe you just want to separate this area, but you want the kitchen open. There's more foldable sliding doors over there that you'll pull all the way across and it completely encloses this area during winter. Above me, a continuation of that decoration with the slats, the skylight. This is so cool, guys. We are really high up. The view is incredible. And we're gonna show you more of that. And now, here we are in the kitchen. A few things I love to talk about in the kitchen is the down lighting. Yeah, we've got these crystal lamps putting light down onto this center counter table. On this, we've got these sandstone countertops. I really need to get another geologist in so we can talk about the different countertops, but super thick, really high quality, love how it feels. And it wraps around past those sliding doors, as I mentioned, into the full on kitchen area. Now this kitchen area is split into two. One, we've got the center island with all of this storage. And on the right hand side, we've got where the appliances are going to be. But we've also got a scullery, which we're gonna show you in a second. So now we've got melee, induction burners, melee extraction fan leading all the way up and out and then melee oven over here. As I said, plenty of storage and if we shoot off this way, we've got your microwave oven slot here as well as 
all your implements for coffee. I'm a huge coffee fan, so it's so nice that they've got a spot here for you to wake up, whip up your morning coffee, and travel back into your bedrooms. And those bedrooms are an incredible place to enjoy coffee, so we'll talk about that in a moment as well. Space for a double fridge again. Very, very easy to fit in here. Yeah, we've got two separate fridges, so it shows you just how much space there is. Storage above and right over here, where I'm gonna walk next, we're gonna do a quick voiceover, is the scullery area. Let's check it out. The scullery area, we've got a continuation of that beautiful marble countertops, a double sink for all your washing up needs, under counter storage for your appliances, as well as the relevant plug points, as well as drainage holes. And then above, plenty of cupboard storage, and that leads back out into the kitchen. This makes it so easy for you when you're whipping up meals for those guests that have left their coat in the entry hall to sit down in this dining room area and enjoy a fantastic family gathering. Now, as I've mentioned again, this is a penthouse apartment in Bedford Center. So much space is incredible, specifically at this price point. Guys, generally, with the amenities, this apartment comes in, the price points are generally so much higher than they are, but just above the dining room table, we've got and air con, so it's going to serve as this apartment as well as it would the lounge area over there. We've got plenty of storage space here. Behind me, we've got a chest of drawers. As you can see, how easy it fits in here. Really long. Love how much space is in here. And over here, a fully stocked wine fridge. Take a look at that. We you know how much. I love me some wine. So, you and I, it's a secret. We're going to be pilfering from this fridge over here. Another really cool feature is if come here now all of the curtains and that are controlled by these wire by these wires let's open this up i feel very fancy doing this but right here you'll see this huge floor to ceiling window and that leads out onto your own private balcony now chad how do you access this private balcony well not through here but through another living area which is just here and to access that balcony, you come into this living area right here. What I love about these living areas are the windowed walls separating them. We've got this sliding glass door right over here, one behind me and another one over there that leads out onto the deck. Beautiful sunroom over here, plenty of space. I mean, opening all of this up here, even these doors here, must let in so much light and so much air. Incredible place to sit down, enjoy drinks, and some supper with friends. Now, we've got frosted glass over there, and that gives you that incredible view of Bedford View, but also a lot of privacy. And if we scoot over on this side, past a really cool. And here we are, the prodigal return of the outside area. We've got this long pool leading all the way over here to a glass framed railing. This pool is an infinity edge pool. So when it's on, it will flow over this edge here down into this panel and gets recirculated into the pool. So when you're sitting into it, you will enjoy not only this incredible view, but one of the coolest pool designs that I've ever seen. So let's talk about a couple of things here. One, some of your eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed that there's this you know, floor to ceiling glass over here. What is that? Well, that is the creme de la creme, what I like to call the master suite. And those sliding doors open right out onto the pool and obviously this incredible view. Then you'll see that long rectangular shape. Let me show you right over here, this long glass rectangular shape that is the master suite the master bathroom and we're going to be inside there taking a look at everything it has to offer but that does mean it's time to take a look at the bedrooms and bathrooms so you guys need to follow me as we walk around and into what the rest of this house has to offer and here it starts the journey into the bedrooms of the home so coming back into the living area you find yourself within a long hallway that stretches down to the office but right over here this is the first bedroom so Let's talk some really cool features throughout the house. All the doors are clad in this beautiful wood, really large, solid doors. I love it. It's a feature not a lot of people would notice, but it really does bring in an air of quality to the home. Another thing that brings in an air of quality are these bulkhead ceilings that hide the tops of the curtains right here. We've got another one of those sliding doors leading you out onto your deck area that you can open and close. All of them are tilt tinted for UV light, so it keeps the bedrooms quite cool. Got a beautiful little cat chilling there, having a nice nap. But behind me, more of that stunning wood, and this here opens up into your cupboard areas. Love how it's been done, really is a cool feature. And it's got your mirrors on it, which not only help you get ready, but also make the room so much larger. Over there, we've got an aircon, and then this beautiful, massive headboard that stretches the whole length of the room and just behind it that dark wallpaper that again makes it feel quite fancy and luxurious now in front of me all the bedrooms 
over here are serviced by their own ensuite bathroom. So let's take a look at this one. Tell me what you think in the comments and then we're gonna journey down that hallway and find out what the rest of this house has to offer. Now right behind me is your ensuite bathroom. Every single bedroom in this home comes with its very own ensuite bathroom. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment sections about what you think about this bathroom, what you think about this house, and most importantly, how you would, with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones, enjoy that view over there. But let's talk quickly about this bathroom. You've got your single vanity, huge mirror just above that vanity on the left-hand side or my left-hand side. You've got your walk-in shower, the right-hand side, bathtub, and then obviously you've got your toilet tucked away in the corner there. All of it serviced by downlight. And what I really enjoy is the windows letting in a lot of natural light. So coming into the second room, this one really does have a killer standout feature and that means that this room has its very own private balcony. You can walk outside, sit on your balcony and enjoy the views and it's only your balcony. And that does make up for the fact that this room is a little bit smaller than the other rooms in the home. However, that doesn't mean it is any less special. You've got some cupboards in the right hand corner as well as your very own frosted glass door that opens up into your ensuite bathroom. The room again is serviced by an aircon, plenty of down lighting, and let's then talk about the killer feature, not only the balcony, but the ensuite bathroom. Now, this bathroom is split in two halves. In the center, you've got your single vanity with a long mirror, almost reaching up to the ceiling, and then under counter storage. On your left-hand side, you've got your bathtub there. Really good, spacious bathtub just above it. Another one of those incredible skylights letting in a lot of natural light into bathrooms that would generally be quite dark, and that's never the case within this penthouse suite. Then, on your right-hand side, you've got your walk-in shower, rainfall shower head, glass on every side of you, and just behind you, you've got your toilet space right there. So we are two bedrooms down, which leaves only one, the creme de la creme, the cherry on top, the master suite. But before we get there, we have to walk through this beautiful office area here. You know, office and working from home has become such a staple. I've said this in all the videos I've done, and it's so cool to have an office that looks like this. You've got your Mac computer set up, plenty of under counter storage, so many things to put above it to really make it feel yours, to make yourself feel at home, feel comfortable and ready to work. And then if we turn around, floor to ceiling windows, looking out over Germiston over there and Bedford View on the left hand side. It is stunning, gives you so much view. And to open up these windows here and get in a bit of a breeze must really be incredible, but we're not gonna do that right now. Above us, we've got the lines that sweep down and give you the privacy if you need it. But let's walk forward. Let's take a look, guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready to see what this bedroom offers. And walking into it, the first thing you'll notice is this right here is your walk-in closet. We've got these sliding closet doors that you can pull open beautifully inlaid with wood with some gloss plastics above and below. We've got cupboard space over here behind the door. And then leading forward, we've got these huge cupboards right over here that can be opened up and you can access all of that closet space. Then, if we swap around over here in the corner, we've got this stunning cabinet tree over here for you to sit down, get ready and get dressed, which we really like. I think it's such a cool feature to have, specifically with this down lighting. So the dressing area is done. You're dressed in your, in your spiffy outfit. You're looking all good. But before that happens, generally you need a place to scrub up. You need a place to get shiny. And this is the place here. So a couple of really cool features. One, you've got your double vanities. Obviously, this is a staple. So at this price point, you know you're gonna get double vanities. But how nice are these double vanities and how incredible are the mirrors on the wall? Then again, something you saw in all the other bedrooms is, like I said, skylight is a feature. So we've got a skylight right here, diffusing a lot of natural light into the bathroom, really making it feel fresh and airy. Plenty of under counter storage, beautiful wood trim, as well as these stainless steel handles. Over here, this frosted glass door gives you the privacy to go to the bathroom when you need it. You just shut that and no problems whatsoever. And then over here, let's talk about this feature wall. It takes center stage and it does have a huge gap in it leading out into the bedroom area. I love it, it is clad in tinted mirror so you can sit here and also get a good view of yourself. But what I love about it is it makes this room feel so much bigger. And what is big, and we can definitely talk about it, is this bathtub that takes center stage, down lighting above us, huge view in front of us. You can sit, sink and relax in a bubble bath 
right here in this beautiful freestanding bathtub looking at that view. But bathing doesn't mean that is the only way you can get ready because right over here we've got a shower. Now this is a huge shower, beautiful marble flooring. So those towels are different to the towels you'll see throughout the house. Rainfall shower head and then just in the corner a really cool feature and it does go along with the rest of the design language, that skylight design language and that is a frosted floor to ceiling piece of glass that lets in so much light in the shower area. I really, really do enjoy that but not as much as I enjoy what's over here. And that is what we saw from outside, this stunning frosted window letting in light but also giving you a view of that incredible pool. Let's talk about the bedroom though. So we've got right in front of me another one of those, well the other side of that feature wall. Again all tinted mirrors really like it above us. We've got the aircon, huge double bed. Actually this is king size bed my sincerest apologies king size bed right here so it shows you just how much space you've got but then we've also got some cool features so one bulkhead ceiling all the the curtains shift into the ceiling so it really does give you that that feeling of it being fancier than normal curtains it does feel cool it feels luxurious i love it down lighting all the way around then we've got these incredible down lights that i've never seen before so like chain mail down lights every time i come here i feel like i need to just play with them a little bit so i like that it's all carpeted and then the coolest feature, let me run over here. Right over here, we spoke about it guys. We spoke about this feature. You open up these two doors. Excuse the gust of wind on the mic if it does come through, but how cool is this? We've spoken about indoor, outdoor, but what's indoor straight into a pool if you like? Well, this you can stand right over here. I need to make sure I don't take a tumble. That would be a good way to end a video, but I don't think the equipment would survive it. But here it is, your pool's right over here. That incredible views there. Huge breeze, really nice. This right here is 100% a show or feature. It's so nice to be able to say, come in to my master suite and take a look at where my sliding doors leave you. But guys, that does sum up this incredible 30 million 900,000 rand penthouse suite in Bedford Center. So what I'd like you to do is come with me. Let's go back outside. Let's say goodbye. And there you have it folks, a 13,900,000 rand penthouse suite right here in Bedford Center. So if this is the home for you, what I'd like you to do is contact Marcel Thomas from Bedford Center Brokerages and she will schedule a viewing at your earliest time and convenience and you could be the next person sitting down on this lounger right here enjoying the view of Bedford View. And now I see where the view comes from when it comes to Bedford View. So ladies and gentlemen, from myself, Chad Viveros, the team at Private Property, thank you so much for joining us. And please don't forget every Monday and Friday, 8 p.m. another episode airs. Then if you are looking for property, whether it is a property this expensive or anywhere in between, don't forget to visit www.privateproperty.co.za. They have stock for every single estate agency brand or agent in your area. It's all there, very easy to find and very easy to view and inquire. Guys, thank you once again and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.